climbing gear on purpose. What would give you that idea? Really, Zip. It's like going up a set of stairs, only far less boring. Yeah? Well, I want to throw up every time you look down. Hey, Alice is back. Grab a headset. Back so soon? <coughs> From Florence, wasn't it? Decided on Genoa at the last minute. My dissertation will never see daylight at this rate, but never mind that. What are you doing in Bolivia? Ascending. Alistair, me too an arc. She's a lovely pre-Incan civilization, currently in ruins. Delighted. I've been looking for certain artifacts. Well, for some time now. And an old friend working in the powers has tipped me off about a rather promising rumor. What sort of artifacts? An ornate stone dais, among other things. A big rock, and she won't say why. Oh well. Where would the suspense be otherwise? works, if that's what you're wondering. Cool. They said it was waterproof. You should be able to swim with it, no problem. Unless you eat it. Then you'll have to wait an hour. Deep breath, Sip. This will be a long trip otherwise. I forgot you were such an optimist. If I can't see nobody, got worked up thinking I'd put someone down today. Now there's nothing. He owes me one. Hell yeah, I'll tell Rutland myself. You know it. Any idea who he is or who he works for? I haven't the foggiest. He's deliberately unremarkable. Is that good or bad? It's deliberate, which isn't good. That's something I could move. That's a mechanism. That's fragile.
started swinging? No, I sort of danced around, screaming and yelling, whatever. Yeah? Well, I would have kicked the hell out of him. Yeah, whatever, man. I've been flying out and screaming monkey talk like that. Damn thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I believe it when I see it. Swear to God. Isn't she beautiful? I'm falling in love all over again. You say that to all the ruins. I'm a terribly lucky girl. And here come the bloody tourists to spoil you. Your gear doesn't pick up detail that small. What do you see? Men with guns. Mercenaries by the look of them. What are they doing there? Getting into trouble. For survival skill? What's all this stuff for? Moving heavy materials deeper into the mountain, probably. Sometimes ancient builders have to tunnel around hard rock deposits.
with patience and persistence.
It's called an anachronism. It was Amanda's. I doubt someone fall off your feet that easy. It's been unlaced. I never imagined she could have survived. There was a lot of water. She still might not have. It tells the story of the last queen of Tiwanaku. Her father was king, but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Viracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his staff, an object of great power. According to myth, Viracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. Remind you of something? The King Arthur myth, yes. The similarities are striking. King Arthur? A little help here? It's the same story. A youth, unaware of his royal blood, rises from obscurity to become a wise king with the help of a friendly wizard and his magical staff or sword, and afterwards he's transported to paradise. Many cultures share similar legends. The Great Flood, for example. Everyone's got that one too. Something I could move. That's a mechanism. Oh, now that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that one. It was nice, but it was in the way. is me.
this shaman, a dais with a sword set into it, or in this case, Viticocha's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one dais, but possibly. So the shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called Coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. anything familiar about her sword. That's what Rutlin was holding. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? The tip has broken off. My god. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before, at Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Hell, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but... Hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. It's all right. Just let me know if our mercenary friends get me closer to her. Got it. How will you make it back with the soul missing? I suppose I'll have to take the high road back. Yeah. 
hope you found what you were looking for because I am never coming here again. I was right. This is all she left behind. She got out and didn't tell us? Why has she been hiding all these years? Maybe not hiding, exactly. Just not keeping in touch with old friends. Perhaps she found or learned something down there that she wanted to keep to herself. Zip, did you speak to Takamoto? Eventually. He didn't want to see you, so I reminded him how much you hate the word no. I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants to meet at Toru Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right, then. I'm heading there straight away. I'll need to find something to wear, though. Alistair, I'm at the base. Go ahead. I was right. It was a secret Soviet project from the 50s called Karbinek. The laboratory was studying an ancient sword fragment, but some mysterious disaster brought the KGB down, and they erased it all from history. Almost. There seems to be trouble below. You got there right on time. Or a little late. Those are Rotland's men attacking the Kazakhs. Or Amanda's. Most likely she's the one behind this. The lab is somehow connected to that military base, but we don't know how. If you can find the command center, we might get a better idea. Now, after the firefight dies down, you should try to- Oh, come now, Zip. Waiting is for the patient. Or those without parachutes. Well, I'd look around more, but go ahead and jump when you're ready. And it looks like we share an enemy. Where's your command center? Не отвечай ей. Что здесь нужно? Погоди! Если она использует код без ключа, то сработает тревога, и центр движет под подмогу. Да ты шо? Мы здесь охраняем только снег и звериную мочу. Или ты хочешь сам идти? Through the gate. The code is K1879. Спасибо. As you like him in your dachi.
around. There's nothing there. The lab wouldn't be visible from above. We need maps. There it is. Ooh, that's a hike. I'm not walking. There's a military transport train that runs past the lab. It looks like Amanda's boys are ahead of me. I'd better run. Inside and the door sealed. So now what? There's a vent on the wall to the right of the cargo door. The fan's running. She's got the power on. How will you get in? One way or another. getting colder. It looks as if you've stumbled into another tomb after all. I wonder what he's doing in here. He's been trying to get out since the 50s. He's frozen to death, the poor fellow. It's hardly a proper end for a scientist. The experiment on Rom, the KGB sealed the facility. I tried to escape through the vents, but got trapped. My God. It is much colder in here than it is outside. There must be one of them. Look at the lights. She's only found the emergency power. She came in through the main doors. I don't think she's been here. Looks like there's a generator on the other side of the room. She would have started. It sounds as if it's out of fuel. Do it.
There seems to be a fine line between coincidence and irony. You sure about that map? Unfortunately, there was some nonsense about the discovery of the real King Arthur's tomb here years ago. Soon discredited. And yet another roadside attraction was born. Well, let's see what we can see, shall we? At least it should be educational. Either housekeeping should be fired, or no one's been inside for months. Now this is familiar enough. Go for it, Laura. Test your royalty. No King of England jokes, Alistair. I probably have to turn on the power first. They must be electric. I'll have to find the power main. Place is locked up pretty tight on the ground floor. Probably have to try up higher. This place has seen better days. Mm, it's been condemned since the death of the owner, Professor Worth. I shudder to think that at one time he had students. And we have power. Hey, now that the power's on, maybe you can go back and pull out Excalibur. It's not Excalibur! The, the sword and the stone and Excalibur were two different bloody swords. Arthur got Excalibur after the sword and the stone broke in his battle with Valinor. Oh, good grief, nobody gets it straight. That's because nobody cares. Boys. Sorry. There's no difference between stupid and charming with you, is there? <laughs> Thus did King Arthur gather round his person ye greatest knights of ye realm, that they might be paragons of chivalry and virtue. Gaily they cased, yea, and twas an assembly as has not before been seen a... So that there would be no squabbling betwixt ye knights, Merlin bequeathed upon Arthur yon round table, which was a table neither square nor buttressed, but circular in form. It was a symbol of unity and equality, and was from whither Arthur's knights took their name, the Knights of the Round Table. I'm assuming you're taking notes. Yeah, verily. Behold ye holy grail! Such a vision of yon cup of Christ did verily appear unto Arthur and his knights, whereupon several of those men did request to find it anon, and they to a fall, Lancelot, Galahad, Percival, and Bors, and yonder they journey, none e'er returning, though Galahad did see the grail, and yea, his heart was gladdened bloodily. And what of Excalibur? Ye mighty sword of legend, t'was Merlin who did spring at Arthur to yon magical lake wherein did swell ye lady of the lake, and from her hand did Arthur take Excalibur, and yea, ye sword could ne'er be broken, for t'was its magic. I'm confused. Weren't Excalibur and the sword and the stone the same thing? They were two bloody different swords! Now, Zip, that was too easy. Ours did Arthur and Mordred hackle upon Thor's reclaim. Arthur with his gamma, Mordred with his gamma, and Arthur did strike Mordred a fatal blow with his spear of Sir Bedivere. Anon, 
things more tragedy. For Arthur was himself mortally wounded in the battle. Maybe the grunting Saxon or the Roman fascist that Alistair believes the whole legend was built around. Hmm. This is where the truth behind the myth is supposed to be explained. And it's been turned into a warehouse. Setting. There's been so little truth everywhere else. Why start here? The only factual basis behind the King Arthur myths died centuries before this place was built. Give Professor Worth some credit. If he had to close an exhibit for renovations, at least he picked the most boring one. This definitely isn't Arthur's tomb. We knew that already. What's wrong with it? I've seen enough tombs in my life to know when I'm looking at a cenotaph. Say who? A diversion. This place is trying too hard. It's hiding something. A body? No, that's the problem. It's authentic enough for its age, but its age isn't entirely authentic. And what does that mean? She's saying that the sarcophagus is from around the 11th century, which is when the Arthurian myths were invented. The real Arthur came five centuries before, so it's old, but, well, not old enough. It could be anyone, if there's anyone at all. No. There has to be something else. Now this is better. Nice. Don't push anything important. Really, Alice. I have a velveting touch. But I'm glad to see you now think there may be something important. Zip. won't bounce off that thing could have premature end to my short and promising life. Hollow points, Alistair. They practically dropped straight to the floor. I did promise no repeats of that earlier incident, didn't I? Your enthusiasm truly inspires me, Lara. Don't be sarcastic, Alistair. It's dishonest. 
You're not going outside, are you? Not when there are still so many interesting dark places inside. I asked Winston to install a handle for you, but he didn't even offer the courtesy of a reply. He probably thought it was a rhetorical question. I would have. Above the waters, twin sisters turn their backs, one upon the other, to leave their umbages unguarded. Lovely.
slip. I've got it. This must be where Santa's evil brother lives. I'll be fine. Good thing these weren't here last time I came.
object here has a symbolic function. If only the outside world were the same. Oh, brother! Well, one thing at a time. Give me a moment, please. Olivia, then we'll see. 